Good morning. Yeah, it's morning. And welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, Pepper is also saying good morning. Um, anyway, so I thought I would do a video about my favorite gifts that I got and a few from my, from my husband or for my husband that he got from Christmas. And these, you know, we can also use as gift ideas for the rest of the year, for not just Christmas, for birthdays or anniversaries or anything like that. But yeah, so these are my favorite gifts that I got for Christmas. So, starting with number one, which I didn't think I was honestly going to need or want, and I kind of had a hunch that Zach was going to get me these. Um... But it's some slippers. So he got me airy, airy slippers. I had some that I had picked out on Amazon that I think Holly Woodward, uh, she's an Instagram influencer, she recommended them. And I was like, oh yeah, I'd really like some slippers because in the move I threw out all my slippers because they were all old and slippers, you know, kind of stink after a while. And yeah, so I wanted some more slippers. So... Zach actually got me some and yeah he got me these cheetah ones and they're like fluffy cheetah and they're kind of like sandal looking ones uh from Airy and these are really nice for Florida because I don't really need full-on like Ugg slippers to keep my feet super warm but we have been getting a lot colder days this winter so these have really come in handy and I really really love them I'm actually gonna slip them on right now all right, the second gift is kind of a um, <laughs> kind of a combo. So I don't know. I'm sure you guys know of her, but I have Rachel Hollis's books. They're actually in my end table. Um, it's all about like goal setting and you know just trying to achieve what you want. And so she wrote a new book. And Zach got me that called Didn't See That Coming. And then with that book at Target, she also released a few things like her Start Today journal. And it's got like daily pages and it helps with like daily gratitude, which is something I love doing because it goes hand in hand with my mindfulness. So you do to like um, your date, the date obviously. And then it says, today I'm grateful for... 10 dreams I made happen, which I kind of have a hard time with because like she does an example one, right? And I know she's a, not a lot older than me, which is embarrassing when I look at all the things that she's achieved. Um, but like her, you know, goals that she's achieved is that she paid off or she makes a hundred thousand a year and she ran a half marathon. She's a business owner she vacations in Europe so I don't write things like that in here because I haven't really done that so you know I write things like um I became a mom and I own a dog and I have a happy marriage I went to college so that's like what I write but yeah so I got this and then I got yeah the book and then this which is their her start today priority planner which I'm really just using as a regular planner because I ran out of mine. Mine was only until 2020. So I ran out of pages in that. So it's got little things for like, I don't know, regressing and reaching your goals and stuff. But this is what it looks like on the inside. So it's really just a planner with some nice little like reminders and areas for goals to get done and then yeah. That's just where I write, like, um, I plant regular planner stuff. Yeah. And then I guess, keeping with the, um, book theme, I got the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Amina Lima edition. Now, this is gonna be, if you like Harry Potter, which I love Harry Potter, I have Harry Potter tattoos, this is the most gorgeous book I own. And I own all the illustrated editions so far. But Mina Lima, if you don't know, 
um, is I believe who did all the like props and a lot of the set design and whatnot for Wizarding World of Harry Potter and for the movies. So it's just, it's gorgeous. Like even just the regular chapters because they always have, they like include all this beautiful artwork and it's just, it's stunning. It is, I might even say this is like the most gorgeous book I own, but I love it so much. So my mom got me this because yeah, I've always just loved Harry Potter and it's like interactive. Oh, look at it, it's so gorgeous. Anyway, yeah, so I got that book too. I love it. Um, and then I'm gonna go into jewelry because who doesn't love jewelry? So I, I don't have a lot of Alex and Annie, but I have a few Alex and Annie and I like them. So my mom got me this little, ooh, this little Hedwig Alex and Annie. Oh, it's cute. It's like a, um, it's got a sparkly, like, blue-black background, which I'm not gonna lie, that kind of reminds me of a nail polish I had in the 90s. My nail polish is awful. But yeah, and then it's a little Hedwig carrying a letter. And then I asked Zach for this. I'm so glad he actually got it for me. It's the kid's initials and a pretty dainty little necklace and a little heart. So Penelope, Ivy, Milo, and a little heart. Hey baby. Mm -hmm. Ivy has decided to join us. So my last piece of jewelry I got, and I see I had a hard time picking favorites for all these. My mom got me this and it's the second star to the right which is um, Peter Pan. But yeah, so she got this for me and my sister, and she has one, so now we all match. And me. Yeah. And me and You? Mm-hmm. Okay. So another favorite gift, which I actually picked out myself. So I got myself this gift, but I waited until Christmas to open it. Because I, I didn't, like Zach and I said we weren't going to get each other many gifts this year. We wanted to save all the money for the kids. Um, but I really wanted this. And I think it was only $30 from the Nespresso pop-up in Sarasota. So this is the... <laughs> this is the original line advent calendar for this year. And it's got 24 capsule spots and then on the top it has a I think pixie espresso cup I haven't gotten to 24 yet because I'm now doing it like an advent calendar after Christmas so uh, today right was 11 so 12 I'll show you what it looks like oh it's got a voluto which is one of their like regular capsules that you can buy it's not really a special one but there's been a whole bunch in here that um i haven't tried like there's an india one it was really good so far i've loved them all but i do brew all of my nespresso original line capsules as lungos regardless of if they are um just espresso size i just brew a lungo because i prefer i prefer a bigger cup of coffee uh not so much uh shot anymore but yeah so I love this and they had it displayed with the bow and they were like well do you want the bow one and I was like yes I do want the bow because it's a little um fabric ribbon I love it I guess I do love this all right just a few more things so I love sunglasses right and Zach got me two pairs of Quay sunglasses, and I think they're both polar, yeah, they're both polarized. My other ones are in his car, so I can't really show you, but yeah, he got me two pairs of Quays, and you always need sunglasses in Florida, so how can you go wrong? And if you have kids, all your sunglasses usually always end up scratched or broken in some way. 
I think one of my last pairs Ivy decided to put around her waist just snapped right off but yeah so I got some more quays I love them they're like gold on the inside and then blue lenses on the outside so yeah that's cool right um this is from my mom so she got me the spice house a few blends from the spice house so we have hi boo boos <laughs> we have shawarma seasoning which i used last night on chicken shawarma it's got it's a lebanese blend it says and it's got coriander sumac cumin cinnamon cardamom pepper turmeric allspice and cloves and it was so good isn't that cool? Uh, maybe. And then it tells you a little bit about the seasoning blend. And then I got the Japanese Seven Spice, which is orange peel, ginger, sesame, chilies, nori, and Szechuan pepper. And then again, it tells you about the seasoning blend. My hair is kind of frizzy today. And then Raz Al Hanout, which I put a little bit of this in my butter chicken the other day. And it's turmeric, pepper, cardamom, nutmeg, sea salt, ginger, mace, and allspice. But I just, I love these so much. And this is like one of those gifts that just keeps giving. And I mean, I don't know when I would need Japanese 7 Spice, but like, now I always need it. Now I'm going to use it on everything. And they smell amazing. They taste amazing. I've looked at the website and you can get flat packs of their seasonings. And you can get, it's like two ounces still, but it's free shipping on all flat pack seasonings. I'll include a link down below. I'll try to do it for all these things, but especially go check out Spice House because they have like five different types of curry powders alone, which is amazing. <laughs> By myself, acting like my daughter. <laughs> but yeah, so I love that. It's amazing. I love all these gifts. I'm so lucky. <sighs> but yeah. I've been using that lately, so it's pretty cool. So my mom recently moved from Texas to Kentucky, and she went across country, and she actually stopped in Laurel, Mississippi, which I don't know if you guys watch Hometown, which is a show on HGTV with Aaron and Ben Napier. Um, so Ben Napier has a wood shop, and my mom, and they have like a little, it's not a mercantile, that's Pioneer Woman, but they have a little shop um, in Laurel, these two people. And so my mom went there and she got me a shirt from the shop and then she got me a display board. It's not a cutting board, but it's like a display board of this awesome pressed wood design. And apparently these are three of my Papa, her, my mom's dad's favorite woods. But yeah, and it's from Scotsman Co. So I thought that was really cool. Right now, I just have it on top of my oven displayed right next to my seasonings just because it's gorgeous. And I think I might get like a plate hanger and hang it on the wall. Would that look weird? I think I'll still probably do it. Okay, and then the last thing for me is my my mom likes to get these things that like I'll keep or I'll use and she always surprises me with things because I'm like yeah I never know I needed that but now I need it and like it's amazing and I love that she does that she's a really good gift giver I wish I was as good a gift giver as she is same with my husband like they are just such good gift givers <laughs> I I suck in comparison but I got some West Virginia, which is where I'm from, ham-blown Blinko glass. So I have one other piece of Blinko, and it's a candy bowl, and it's red, and my mom got it for me for Valentine's Day a few years ago, in 2017, when I lived, when I moved back in with her when Zach deployed. Um, yeah, so she got me that and I loved it so much and I wanted to steal my sister's because my sister didn't really like her. She didn't really appreciate it and hers was green and I wanted so bad to take it, but I didn't end up taking it. But yeah, so she got some Blinko and this is, I think, called their water bottle. 
but it's hand blown. It's like all of the pieces are unique. It's small batch, like it's an artisan in Milton, West Virginia that has blown this piece. And right now it's sitting on my uh, dining room table because it's in between everything. And I just, I love it. It's heavy, it's just gorgeous. It's amazing, like not one, not two pieces or no two pieces look alike because they're hand blown and like they do have blemishes, but it just, it makes them unique and I just love it. And it connects me to my heritage because my whole family is from West Virginia and I was born there. My parents were born there and it's just, I love it. And I love having that connection to Appalachia and I love Blinko glass. It's amazing. If you haven't gotten Blinko or even just looked at them, you have to, cause they are, they're great. They're a great company. Mm. Yeah. Ivy's back. All right, real quick, because I took so long with all the other ones, I'm gonna go through a few of Zach's favorite gifts. Mm -hmm. So these are things, yeah, you can get your husband anytime or any significant other that likes these things. These just happen to be what I, a few things that I picked out for Zach for Christmas slash his birthday. One of them is something I got for his birthday. Okay, so first things first. We put it in a stocking, but it's a bottle of Mike's Hot Honey. Zach loves spicy things, and the first time we tried a hot honey was on a Target frozen pizza. It came with a pack of honey, and we loved it, or a pack of hot honey. So I got him a whole bottle of Mike's Hot Honey, which it's cheaper to get this at Target, just so you know. Amazon has it cheaper at Target. It's surprisingly really spicy, and I know on Amazon you can get an extra hot one. I can't even imagine because this burns your tongue, but I'm probably going to get Zach the extra hot one next year. But yeah, so a bottle of Mike's Hot Honey. And then Zach likes doing his hair and I'm perfectly fine with that. But um, I featured these in another video when I opened the box, but I love them and he's used both of them. So it's two things of Suavecito. So this is the original one. It smells really good. Both of them do. Oh, here, I let you smell this one. I think this is my favorite just because it smells like vanilla cupcake frosting. Thank you. And who doesn't love their man smelling like cupcake frosting? All right, and then this is, this might be the like, the best gift of the year. But we got this, it's called Zen and Tonic. And we love it so much. We got it from Sugar and Boo at Disney Springs. And I love that it's got a Z and T because like Zach's name, Zach obviously with a Z and my name's Thea with a T. And it's savory and fresh cocktails. And it's just so many different types of cocktails that I've never even heard of. Like the drunken avocado. They've all got like superfood things. Mold Mystic. Like cloves, oh god, it's just, it's amazing. You have to get this gift. If you drink alcohol, which I guess if you don't like alcohol or you don't drink, then you're probably not going to like this, but that's fine. But it's just oh, so good. We haven't made anything yet, so how do we even know it's really that good? But even if it's not, it's gorgeous, and it's Z and T, it's an and tonic. So yeah, it's amazing. We love that book. He loves it too, because he used to be a bartender. And we met in a bar. It's a fun fact. <laughs> and then last thing is one of his birthday presents. So I got him 30 gifts. I'll upload that video. But one of the things I got him was a official game puck from the Tampa Bay Bolts, the Lightning, um, which is our home team, our home hockey team. And we don't really like hockey that much. We do, but we just never, we never get to watch it. And it's like, um, it's just one of those things that we've started getting into since we moved to Tampa and they have a home team. So I decided, because we watched the Stanley Cup together, we really enjoyed it. So I got him a game puck from, that, from the Stanley Cup. 
and he really likes that. It's really cool. <laughs> it's an actual hockey puck. Penelope got really confused when she saw me get this because she was like, he doesn't have a hockey stick. I was like, probably won't play with it. But yeah, so all these things, we love them. I love, I love all this stuff. It's been a really good Christmas. We've been really fortunate. Um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Night. Subscribe, please. I'm trying to build up my channel and I can only do that with subscribers. Uh, follow me on Instagram because again, building up that social media presence. So yeah, comment down below. Just let me know. Say hi and I'll see you guys next time.